Hey, Reserva Club members, how are you? Hello, hello. Our first virtual tasting in these crazy times. Um, nice to be doing this for you. We miss you all, and uh, we hope you enjoyed your meal that we sent out to you last week. Um, th thought that was a fun idea. I got um, some beautiful pictures. Cool. The people yep. sent. Yes, you guys did a great job cooking. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. We're excited to bring to you today uh, our 2016 Estate Barbera Reserva. Wonderful stuff. 92 points, wine enthusiasts. And our 2016 Cabernet Franc Reserva. We have not submitted. Or it's submitted, it's but submitted. we haven't we gotten got a results. result yet. So as soon but, as we find yeah. out, we'll let you guys know. So we're very excited about it. Again, Olivia and I here, we're ready to rock and roll. We're ready to dig in. Uh, fun stuff. We hope you are all in uh, these crazy times. Um, well, trying to make the best of it. Uh, we know we've been getting a lot of wine orders, so that's a good thing. I mean, that's kind of what we're doing, right? Yeah. What you're doing, right? What else are you gonna do? My father Drink jokes around. Uh, he said when this first whole thing started, he said, "I don't see what the big deal is. This is like being in a blizzard in Buffalo. We're close in two <laughs> weeks. You get together, you cook and drink." I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, we're not used to that in San Diego, though. But the, there was no blizzard, that, no blizzard that lasted eight weeks in Buffalo. Yeah. But anyway, um, this helps though. The wine helps. So thank you again for being reserve members. We're really excited. Uh, we just got officially um, uh, accepted into the Meritage Association yes. because we are doing a, a Meritage uh, 2017 vintage. We just bottled it, it's and it is phenomenal. phenomenal. We just opened it up last month and we're blown away at Very how exciting. incredible it's tasting. It definitely is still tight, so I have a feeling we probably won't release it until a year from this one. Yeah, probably not October, guess. but the next May. Oh yeah. my gosh, it's... But wonderful stuff, so neat things, because the Reserva Club will always be the only uh, selection that we offer the Meritage. And that's been another dream of mine to do, and uh, it's nice to see all this fun stuff come to, to fruition here. Um, but with that being said, let's just jump into the wines for you folks. Uh, we're going to start with the Estate Barbera. I'll pass the torch here to Olivia. Let her explain a little bit about it. Talk to you a little bit about it. Yeah, this varietal I think is what Temecula Valley has a really huge promising future on. I think it does phenomenal in this region. Um, it's so special to us because it is from our estate. So we've been able to cultivate it and be on top of every practice in the vineyard along the way, um, including having our staff even come help us pick it, which has been a really fun tradition that we've done every year. Um, they've been very um, just involved in the fermentation process as well. We're of course doing, for all these wines, we take it above and beyond for every single step, not taking any shortcuts. So we are triple sorting everything, making sure every single cluster going into press is pristine, perfect, flawless, and um, removing anything that is not you know, looking perfect. Uh, this wine. Very, very picky. I mean, it's, we are. again, this is, uh, uh, to reiterate to you folks, I said it once before, but this is basically a dream come true for Olivia and I. These are the types of wines that you, when you get to this point, I mean, it's literally like a side hobby slash project for us where we're, we're literally hand selecting clusters that goes into these wines. It's, it's fun. Um, but it is time consuming. It is. And it's expensive. Yes. Extremely expensive. But uh, we think the uh, juice is worth the squeeze, so to speak. And uh, the product is in the bottle. We're really excited about that. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, so this wine we're doing um, two to three pump overs a day on and just really trying to get as much extraction as we can out of the skin. Mm -hmm. um, back up to vineyard practices. We also are dropping excess fruit to really get that concentration up. Um, yeah, it goes into barrels for malolactic fermentation and again for an additional two years uh, for bottle or barrel aging before we bottle and filter. So this wine, um, we are, again, we're not taking any shortcuts. It is rich and just such a nice wine. I, one of my favorite ones we've ever made, honestly. 100% French oak, uh, but the new oak is at 50% 50 new. Yep. Uh, and then the- Well, it's an easy calculation because it's only two barrels. Right. So um, one is two, a two year old barrel, the other one is brand new French. So um, just, yeah, the, Tart, cherry, of course, Barbera is a really acid-driven wine, so you're gonna get a lot of that tartness um, for fruit, but you're not gonna get a lot of that tannin structure. So this is meant to be drinking as a younger wine. It's not meant to be aged for 10 years. 
So I definitely urge you guys to you know drink it in the next couple years. I think that's it's at its prime right now, um, especially as of 2016. It's already four years into its life. So um, yeah, just beautiful. It's so well rounded. Tart cherry, cranberries, yeah. um, but then you get another dimension of earthiness, and I get a little bit of like mushrooms and mocha in there, which I think comes mm -hmm. a lot from. Um, definitely the mocha from a little bit of that French sure. um, oak influence. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, just some tart fruits like pomegranate in there as well. Yeah. It's such a well-rounded wine, very well balanced. I mean, from start to finish, lingering finish, which is really wonderful. I love that in a wine when a, a wine just sits with you. And this, it, this does that as well. Uh, yeah. It's as far as food pairing, you guys are Reserva Club members, you know, at this point in the state, you guys get you're in the game. You, you guys, your palates know what works. Um, but of course, the, the red meat dishes, the red sauce dishes, um, wonderful cheese dishes. You know, as we uh, we did another video for our Red Club members uh, just about an hour or two ago, and we were talking about how, you know, some of these wines. God, with just a little bit of cheese and you want to sit and have yeah. a couple of nice glasses of wine have a nice conversation with some cheese and crackers this would fit i do notice too. the wines i really love i don't really want to pair it with anything you I know? know like yeah. i just want to sit there and enjoy just it and kind of watch it open up yeah see how the aromas change how once your palate adjusts especially this wine with it being so tart you really need to take three sips to get yeah. your palate adjusted to that acidity and you'll get a whole different mouthfeel than you would on that first sip so i think this one, I mean, just like Robert said, I think um, just enjoying it on its own yeah. is the best way to go. But yeah. but also it well, goes these wines in particular, I think, uh, and the reserve wines, I I'm with you on that. Yeah. Um, these are something to sit down and have a nice casual conversation and just sit back and enjoy and celebrate life a little bit and, yep. and celebrate a wonderful bottle of wine. Yes. And I think that's that's what this whole program is about. This whole club, these wines. Is all about uh, just uh, savoring the finer things and, and really and, wines that we want to yeah. be drinking. Yeah, that we choose to drink. So, so we hope you enjoy it. Yes. Again, this is our first virtual video recorded tasting. Um, so please don't bag on us if we're not good at it. We're trying, but uh, we really thanks uh, thank you for being a member and uh, appreciating these lovely wines. And be one of the few, and you know, you know how limited this this uh, club is, and it's really uh, you guys are helping make our dream come true here. It's really a lot of fun for us, and we hope it's as well for you. Uh, we hope you really enjoy the wines. Yes. If you have any questions, pl please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, send Olivia and I uh, an email if you have a question. Olivia is lab at me, and short for laboratory. Lab at robertandzonyvineyards.com. I'm Robert at robertandzonyvineyards.com. Please feel free to send us a, an email if you have any questions. Yep. Otherwise, we really look forward to seeing you guys here at the winery. We're hoping someday soon we will get back to, to reality. Um, but uh, that's the, that's with that wine. We are going to go on to uh, the other wine. 2016 um, Cabernet Franc. We're back. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> wine number two. Okay. So this is our 2016 Cabernet Franc. And I think one thing I noticed when I talk to people about Cabernet Franc wow. is they don't always realize that it is the father of um, Cabernet Sauvignon. So Cabernet Franc and, and Sauvignon Blanc are the parents of Cabernet Sauvignon, um, which is kind of a fun fact that a lot of people don't realize. But this wine, um, like we said earlier, we're currently getting rated by wine enthusiasts, so we're looking forward to seeing um, what, he, what he gives us. Um, I'm hoping for something very high because I think this wine is just multi-dimensional, so complex, there's so many different layers to it, and um, it's just from such a phenomenal vineyard right up the street from our from our property. That's very nice. I get like some nice, I've noticed some strawberry rhubarb I just, and, I just got the and some raspberry on the nose that really just pokes you just out. just took that right out of my mouth. The words right out of my mouth on that one. That was, yeah. But then I do notice this, a nice earthiness of, there's gonna be a little bit of that herbaceous notes to it. It is in like, it's siblings to Cabernet Sauvignon. It does have a little bit of that herbaceousness, a hint of it. But I also notice this crushed gravel texture on my palate that um, 
kind of like a mineral crushed gravel. It sounds odd to have as a the oak cereal, is but yeah. Is, the oak is very present too. Yes. It's it's very uh, but it's very I don't want to say very present but very subtle but it's very well proportioned within the wine. But then um, sitting on my palate, right, yeah, sitting yeah. on my palate right now, I get some cinnamon and yeah. tobacco spice as well. Yeah, I get the tobacco. Pick. So this has a lot of different layers of what fruit spice. And then those beautiful like cloves, clove cinnamon characteristics toward the end as well. So this one was aged 26 months as well, 50% new French oak, and also bottled and filtered. Both wines I would rank in the medium plus category, uh, not overly full bodied, but really just you know above a medium wine, but not a full crazy, you know, huge jammy, huge jammy yeah. wine. I would rate it right in the between there at the medium plus range. Yes. Would you agree? Yes, okay. absolutely. Um, two lovely wines. Yeah. We're very excited to release them to you. Uh, we know most of you picked them up or received them already by the time you see this video. Uh, and we hope you thoroughly enjoy them. Um, we are just uh, excited about the, this new club and where we're headed and the wines that we're producing for you. Very excited and for all of our 2017s. We, very excited. Like we talked to, about earlier with the Meritage, we have some incredible petite Syrah on the way, which we're so excited for. So you let all the cats out of the bag. I know, I'm sorry, just don't tell anybody. Um, <laughs> but we got some great, like it's gonna keep continue to improve I feel like every year because we're finding amazing vineyards that we find a great connection to throughout the valley. And um, we've spent so many years trying to find those hidden gems. And each year we come in contact with a new vineyard owner who all he cares about or all she cares about is quality. Like if you need me to drop fruit, I'll drop fruit for you. And I think that's what we've been looking for, for this wine club. And, um, yeah, you guys will definitely be able to tell with how outstanding and huge, just enormous all the flavors are in here. It's fun for us. We, you know, we like, to jump on her coattails of what she just said. We've been getting, a, we, we've got a reputation of looking for quality, not quantity, uh, through growers within the Valley. And that's exciting for us because we want to be known for that. We want to be known for producing the highest quality, so, well, some of the highest quality wines you're going to find in all of Southern California. I don't want to, you know, talk out of line here. Uh, and be, but um, we're very excited about it. They're really, like she just said, we have found some wonderful growers who really just want to focus on quality just like we do. And they're open-minded to any type of recommendation uh, and so that we can give them to taking care of their vineyard and, and producing and growing better fruit. And as winemakers, you couldn't ask for it anymore. So we're very excited and that's why it's taken us years to really put these wines together and, and establish the relationships that we have uh, to get to this point. And it just keeps getting more fun and more yeah. fun and more fun. Um, so again, as we hope that you're sipping on these wines as you're watching this video, uh, we're hoping you're enjoying them as much as we are, and uh, we want to, again, wish you all the best. We look forward to seeing you all here at the winery as soon as life gets back to normal. Hopefully someday that'll be soon. Yes. We have done, we've been trying to take advantage of this, uh, this time down. I've been focusing on a lot of minor renovations uh, throughout the entire winery, uh, thinking that I might never get this opportunity to ever do it again. Yeah. So um, we're, we're investing back into the, to the winery here to make it, everything better. And uh, we'll hope you see that uh, sooner than later. And um, we hope you all are healthy and happy and safe. And we, uh, again, appreciate you being a member of the Reserva Club and enjoying our Reserva wines. We, uh, I know Olivia and I are really excited about these. And I know I keep repeating myself, but <laughs> we uh, we want to thank you so much from the bottom of our heart. Yes, thank you guys so so much. Cheers to you all. Can't God wait bless. to have a glass of wine with you all. Salute. <laughs> Salute.